Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you doing, Pedrina? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Today is class 23. Uh, today is December 15th. And uh, the topic for tonight is safety measures, manual, conversation. Okay, so we're going to be talking about a safety measure manual, how to build one, why is it necessary? Okay, let's see what it does. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. This, these are the specific objectives. We're working on the last one. And this is, okay. Discuss risk and hazards and business operation. Okay, in the agenda we have relate, may establish a connection between two things. We have a dialogue, then we are assessing business risks. And we'll have uh, dialogues in discussion, and then we'll have a reading. Okay. But before we begin, let's see who is present and who is absent. Anaselmi Chavez. Carranza de Guzman. Dani Anthony Sigüenza Ventura. Dani Adalberto Fontes. Present. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández, Guadalupe del Carmen López, José Carlos Argueta, José Ignacio Franco, José Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. I am here, Greeny. Norbert, right? Yes, okay. Very good. Karina Beatriz Diaz, I'm going to say Present Jose Karina, because Jose, 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 Jose Carlos, Ignacio, Jose Norberto. I was going to say Karina. Present, señorita. Okay. Karina Elisa. Mm -hmm. Cari is not with that yet. Carlita, Carla. Present teacher. Present teacher. Nice. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. María Catalina, no. Not yet. Present teacher. Yes, Cari. I can see you, Cari. Okay. So, María Emma is not with us. Marvin. Hi, good evening, teacher. Yes. I already put you present. Tell me, I saw you. Okay. Marvin, no. Miriam, Miriam, Claribel, Jacob. Pedrina, Ileana Gomez. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela, Beatriz, Posada. Present. Good evening. Evening. Bye, Pamela. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. And uh, Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. <clears throat> My dear ones, before we begin, uh, to congratulate a lot of you who have finished the homework, many of you have completed the homework. 
hey, that is, wow, excellent. I've seen that you have 100, 100, 100, and in the final grade, you have 97 or something like that. Congratulations. Yet, there are some very nice, very important people, okay, that we love them very much, but they haven't done uh, the midterm or they haven't done the final and they haven't done homework three or homework four. Uh, and the average that they have right now is 54, 54 and we need 80. So, uh, and we're talking about Wednesday today and we finish in two days. So after tonight's class, we only have Thursday, tomorrow, right? And Friday. Okay, today you received your Encuesta de Satisfacción link, okay? Yes. So, uh, you received it and on Friday together, we're going to complete it. We're going to send it all together and we're going to leave evidence that we sent it, okay? So, I will not say names because it's not ethical. It's not ethical to know names, to say names. However, my friends, you know who is missing homework, who is missing the final evaluation, or who is missing a, something in the plan. Please complete it, right? So that you don't have to be worried about, worried about that. And on Friday, you can be please, please do that. Okay. Let's continue, my friend. <clears throat> okay, let's let's go back to let's see. We're going to begin by relating. How do these things, how do these things relate to security? How are they related to security? Okay, assessment, risk, accident, incident, hazard, conflict, damage, harm, destruction, ruin, breakdown, security breach, measure, protocols, security teams, management, premises, perimeter, and the root, and of course, sorry, exit. Okay. Um, the terms. We begin with assessment, assessment, risk, accident, incident, hazard, conflict, damage harm, destruction, ruin, breakdown, security breach. Security breach is when the security has been uh, broken. Someone has entered, someone has gone through security. There is a gap in security and then over there people are entering and you know, stealing things, etc. So that is a security breach. Measures, protocols, security teams. Security teams, teams are the ones that we call brigades. Brigade or security teams. Some call them security task forces. Okay, task, for, task forces, okay. Management, premises, the premise, is the place, perimeter, okay? All the area that must be protected. Root and exit, exit, not out, exit. The way, the place, okay, you have an entrance and you have an exit. How are these things related to security? Okay, assessment, for example, to assess security in or assess risk and in places to determine 
uh, what things are necessary to be considered and to correct them if it's necessary, or to do certain things to protect the place or to, to secure the area. So assessment would be the study that you conduct of the, of the place to see what are the weak areas in security, what are the strong areas in security, and to take the appropriate measures. So that is why assessment is related to security. Okay, then you have to establish the others, how they are related to security. For this, we're going to go to the groups and you're going to discuss with your partner. Jose Carlos. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Tonight we're only Hello, 20. teacher. Yes. Hello. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Okay. I have a little thing I show right. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, teacher. I would... Today is Saturday. Okay. <laughs> Today is Saturday. <laughs> Today is Saturday. No. <laughs> All right, my friends, we're going to see, we're going, I'm going to create three groups only because we're only 12 people. The others are not here yet. So the groups have been created. Let's, they are opening right now. Okay, so we are 12 people. We, we were supposed to be, we are, uh -huh, okay. 13 people. So let's enter the groups. Let's enter the groups and let's begin discussing. Okay, so. Yes, yeah, Rudy can share the picture. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. Ready. You're ready to discuss. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. How did this relate to security? Assessment, this. And for example, in my case, risks, risks is uh, identified for, in my case, is the implement new system new system is ESPR uh, the system probation reads in I take take lists different reads in different areas or different department. And you, Carla? Hey, what is the... Sorry, what is the... Assessment, uh, how did this work relate? The security. To security. Yes. Um, for me, is a accident incident uh, security breach 
protocols, management, conflict. Yeah. Uh, damage. Damage. Uh, what more damage? Protocol. Perimeter. 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 Uh -huh. Premises. Uh, what more? Security teams. Exit. Hazard. Uh, okay. Hazard. 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 Oh yes. Hazard. Yes. 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 Yes, have some. Uh, what more? Uh, mm. Break dumps. It's possible. Break down? Yes. yes. Assessments too? Um, bueno, assessment, read, accident, incident, hazard, conflict, damage, destruction, breakdown, security breach, protocol, security team, management, exit, mm -hmm. imager, yes. Yes. An option. Yes. The rest. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay. No feel the more. The next Friday, finish the class, teacher. Yeah? We do. We finish Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's a uh, make or the encuesta is. Uh... Yes, we're going to have the encuesta de satisfacción. Yeah. Uh, on Friday. Yes, yes. Pass and pass. Have you finished discussing the relationships? Yeah. Sure. Um. Yes. The... Oh, I'm going to check another group then. Uh -huh. Okay. A paper to explain a possible accident? Yeah. Yeah. A paper. A paper or, I don't know, a banner. Ah, okay. A but picture. the hazard is to the related to the random. <laughs> hazard. So. Maybe it's a method for selection, hazard. Maybe. Conflict? Uh, conflict. Karinita Diaz, conflict? <laughs> I think. Conflict. conflict. Maybe different position related to a specific topic, no? Hopefully. Uh -huh. It's when it's when you are at disagreement. Yeah, disagreement, exactly. Yes, the origin uh -huh. of the conflict is maybe a disagreement. But relate to security? related to security conflict. 
Conflict can be um, no, the security maybe. Well, um, maybe a conflict can be a, a related to security can be a influence. Um, or oh, when the people or cows, cows, maybe a cows, a cows, or maybe when the people don't, um, people doesn't, no, doesn't, yes. What do you say? People don't, yes. or doesn't, where is the auxiliary right? People don't. What is, teacher? People don't. Don't, ah, thanks. When the people don't um, comply, see, the policies and there are conflicts between the, the employees in policies for security, maybe. I'm not sure the conflict in, the, in this context, but in, in my experience, there is a conflict when the person um, don't, don't uh, compliance the policies of security, mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, yeah. Conflict, disagreement. Yes, it's a, a good possibility. <laughs> Yes, for security. Maybe when the employee uh, enter in the company in bad condition for the maybe drunk mm -hmm. for alcohol, alcohol mm -hmm. create a conflict because yeah. the policies is not acceptable. Maybe. <laughs> no, you're, you're, oh, I agree with you. Um, uh, Damage related to security. Damage, damage is the um, implication for lack security. Well, we know that if some um, machine or whatever in your area of work. Yeah. If in that case has some damage mm -hmm. in related to security, is a uh, can be also an accident. Yeah. In a in a future, uh, maybe not not in the same time, but can be a problem. Yeah, it's true. A uh, harm. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are all here. So, discussing fire safety. 
when discussing fire safety, the elements that I'm going to read right now are key. They are really important because they will tell us how safe be and how safe we can make others. Okay, fire drills and evacuation plans must be practiced regularly. Once a month is an ideal frequency. Fire alarms and smoke detectors must be present at all levels of the premises. Fire devices such as fire extinguishers, sprinklers, fire hoses must, must be always in good working condition. Regular maintenance for these devices is a must. Fire exits, egresses uh, must always be free from any obstruction that can hinder fast flow of evacuation in case of fire breakout. Exit signs must always be posted properly. Responsible personnel must have adequate training in handling fire devices, such as fire extinguishers, fire hoses, to apply initial remedy in case of starting fire breakouts. Fire safety signs, especially exit signs, must be conspicuously means evidently, obviously in a position that everybody can see them. Look, okay, conspicuously located at all levels of the premises, especially those pointing in complex buildings, side paths leading to exits must be posted on the walls or appropriate sites. Elevators must not be used during fire breakouts, as these may get stuck in between floors if power if power supply is cut in fires. So use the stairs, don't use elevators. Okay, now from this, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Sprinklers, sprinklers are the ones that throw the water. There are sensors. Those are okay. We have the the ones that have sense the fire. Okay, it's, they sense smoke or fire proximity, and activate the sprinklers. The ones that Let's say, let the water let the water run, okay, or start uh, to to sprinkle water. Then fire hoses, fire hoses are uh, the ones that are on walls, usually on reels, that you use them to uh, extinguish fires, especially the small ones. And then. Exit signs means signs pointing where the exit is so that people may evacuate properly. Okay, so that is smoke detectors, fire sprinklers, fire extinguishers, fire hoses. Okay, that is the system for fire, for fire safety. Okay. Any questions about any of the vocabulary that is found there? No questions? Okay. What is the spring, it's, it's sprinkler? Sprinklers, okay. Yeah. On the roof, well, say on the ceiling, on the ceiling of the room, let's say, there are some sensors. These are smoke detectors. When there is smoke, they release water. The sprinkler ah, is the water. Yes, yes. Sprinklers. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? So, so... 
Small teacher. Okay. There are no more questions. Okay. No. Let's continue with the dialogue. The dialogue is in two parts. We have like this, no, this is the dialogue and then this is the other part, the conversations. Six conversations that we need to discuss. Okay. So let's see. No. Okay, over here. Read and discuss the following dialogue. We have discussed security in offices and areas where we deal with the public, but how about other areas, such as the main factory area where we process our products or parking lots, entrances or exits? We need to meet the chief security officer. He has to prepare a document describing the security processes that must be implemented. And also gather a security team, which will be responsible for security all over the place. Yeah, he's gotta meet them, or he's gotta meet with them and explain what's expected from them and listen to their security concerns too. Okay. Let's go, let's go talk, talk to him, sorry. Let's go talk to him, find out what he has in mind. Okay, again, we have discussed security in offices and areas where we deal with the public, but how about other areas, such as the main factory area where we process our products or, park, or parking lots, entrances or exits? We must no, we need to meet the chief security officer. He has to prepare a document describing the security processes that must be implemented. And also gather a security team, which will be responsible for security all over the place. Yeah, he's gotta meet with them and explain what's expected from them and listen to their security concerns too. Okay, let's go talk to him and find out what he has in mind. So this is the, the dialogue, okay? Security, deal, factory area, process our products, parking lots, entrances or exits, chief security officer, prepare, Okay, security processes implemented, gather a security team, responsible, responsible for security, the place, all over the place. Meet with them, explain what's expected from them, listen to their security concerns too. Talk to him, find out what he has in mind. Okay, this is a, the conversation. Now we have the questions. When we discuss security, which areas should have priority? Which areas should be the first to be secure? How should a security manual be created? Who should create it? What areas need to be covered in the manual? How should the perimeter be protected? What aspects make security functional? Okay, so the questions, as you can see, are not connected to the dialogue, okay? So they are not about the dialogue. First, practice the dialogue, then discuss the questions, okay? Let's see. Let's go to the groups and let's begin.
but I need a two minutes maybe. Okay. Rudy, Rudy is sharing right now. Yeah, come on, come on, Rudy. <laughs> Chief Security Officer. He has to prepare a document describing the security process that must be implemented. And all together, a security team which will be responsible for security all over the place. Yeah, he's got to meet. We cannot explain what is expect from them and listen to their security concept. Okay, let's go. Talk to him and find out what he has in mind. Okay. Switch? Are you okay. mark? Yes. Okay. There you go. We have discussed security in office in areas where we deal with the public. We have about other areas. Choose has the main factory area where we process our product or parking lot and transit and transit or exits. We need to meet with the chief security office. He has to prepare a document describing the security process that must be implemented. And also get a security team which will be responsible for security or over the place. Yeah, she's got to meet with them and explain what to expect for them and listening to their security concert too. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to her and find out what we have in mind. <laughs> the next. Expected for from them and listen to their security concerns too. Okay, let's go talk to him and find out what he has in mind. Okay, okay. now Pamela, you are uh, Julio, Julio. Mm -hmm. and Karina Diaz uh, could be Mark. Mark. Okay. We have discussed the security in office in areas where we deal with the public, but how about other areas, such as the main factory area where we process our products or parking lots in interest or exits? exits. We need to meet him with a chief security officer. He has to prepare a document describing the security process that must be implemented. And also gather a security team, which will be responsible for security all, all over the place. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he goes to meet him, to meet with them and explain what to expect from the from them and listen to their security concert too. Okay, let's go talk to him and find out what he has in mind. Okay. 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 Finally, um, Karina Diaz, uh, are Julio and me, Mark. Mark. Okay. We have discussed security in office in areas where we deal with the public. He's got, he's got to meet with them and explain what is planned from them and listen to their security concerts too. Okay, let's go talk, the, talk to him and find out what, the, what he has in mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I think the Rudy is not is not necessary to practice. <laughs> uh, Jose Carlos and me, please. I okay. am Mark. I am, I, I am Mark, and you are Julio. <laughs> 
It's okay. I I think include two no need to practice because <laughs> it's, necess it's necessary. Okay. I we think ones expecting from the and listen to their security constant too. Okay, let's go to Tal to him and, and find out what the has to mean. Um, Ricardo. Uh, so okay. Danis. <laughs> um, yeah. Where, 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 I, where, my my headphone is mute. Yeah. Um. Okay, this is the question with a partner. When we discuss security, which areas should have priority? Okay. The dialogue, I mean, the questions are not related to the dialogue. Oh yes. Oh. Okay. No, no, no relation. No relay. No. Uh, oh, no. Uh, for me, the the area I should have priority is. Uh, Anna, what do you think? Yes, I agree with you. And the main or priority areas is the areas uh, where there are more um, contact between uh, people or employees, different employees or clients. And these areas uh, require more uh, security in general, the physical environment for security. Yes. Yeah. Uh, areas of uh, the evacuation routes. Yeah, that is important. It's very important. Uh, Accident. Uh, yes, we, it's can be considered that uh, well, maybe a priority to have that kind of tools to prevent an event. Mm, yeah. Okay, the second is how should a security manual be created? I will show a security model be created. Well, in some cases, in the major, in the, in the many of them, uh, the, man, the security model be created by uh, an accident before. And not only, it's not a kind of prevent, it's about maybe a, a different, in the past, a different, uh, situations that now consider uh, maybe we don't we don't need an accident or um, uh, even before to to prevent them. Uh, well, in some case, in well, in construction, maybe uh, we know that uh, the uh, the employees need the security uh, equipment but in some cases some case uh, the equipment it's not all it's not bringing it uh, at all 
Oh, because in some cases, employees think talks about um, it's not necessary, and then it has an had another accident, and that can be something that can be prevent prevent. Um, but you, we know that they don't. They need to have some some tools to to her to their security. I. I say that maybe not necessary to has an accident before to get uh, the experience about it in a man security manual. Yes, this is idea that the prevention yes. can create a good culture related to the good security. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Most of the company uh, receive a, a course about uh, occupational security safe. And yeah. I remember my first job, I was received the course and I was part of the this, this com commitment and according to the work work uh, ministry uh, everybody every company needs to have a, a manual to mm -hmm. security as in uh, create a committee a committee yeah yes, for security yes yeah. it's, uh, in, in the in the committee uh, do the 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 Karina said uh, a route for evacuate is one of the most is the principal um, or for example when when are an emergency uh, mm -hmm. people needs to know the, uh, the first I don't know the <laughs> first I eight Okay. Yes, I agree. Who should create it? Who should create it? Maybe the the person that it um work about the um occupation occupational safe. That a old factory uh, have some, some someone who um, do it. Yeah. Maybe in a, in another place can be in the department, right? But yes, if we don't have an just the mm -hmm. quantity of the employees yeah. of the factory. In in my case, in the office, the committee mm -hmm. for security that uh, they are responsible create. of the mm -hmm. create and update the, the manual. Mm -hmm. And the human resources to review that. Yeah. That yeah. Yes, the manager of human resources is included in that committee. Yeah. Most of the time is the human resources with a two or three. Better be protected. Yeah, depends. Depend on uh, the areas. Uh, it you, it helps a uh, business. A uh, business.
Jose Carlos. Eh, for me, it depends. It depends. Uh, number five, for me, it depends about the assessment risk because there are areas that are more dangerous than other ones. So, in my case, how should the perimeter be projected? In my case, it depends. It depends about the assessment risk. Okay. Okay. And so, number six, what aspects make security functional? What aspects make security functional? Don Ignacio, any opinion? Mm, what aspects make security functional? Eyes out, right. Um, um, Guadalupe or Rudy? Any opinion? Guadalupe is out. The aspect? Number Maybe six. the responsibility, the responsibility that each of the... Are you have... Uh, uh, some and you have another and uh, some, some some of the equipment alternative tives that yeah. maybe uh you said the proto protects the perimeter um closer circuits ah protection equipment um, system with um, with terminal camera, camera, analyzed yes. um, analytical video basis solution. Um, yes, a, pro, a, a pro protective and equipment. The software, software, <laughs> intelligent, intelligent, perimet. Um, okay. light system, video, motion detection system, and sensor cables, and can bar it. Oh, <laughs> not um, okay. I have another point of view. I imagine that we have a protective, protective equipment, for example, a stretcher. Helmets, fire so, extinctor, okay. uh, video video camera of oh, oh, uh, yes. uh -huh. Uh -huh, video video camera and um, uh, so surveillance video camera. I think uh -huh, surveillance video camera. Uh -huh. I think I don't know really. <laughs> But so, I think. Oh, yeah, Okay. Mm. Okay. Next question. Uh, what aspect makes security functional? The the keep them. The keeping quality. Yes, the quality uh, equipment. The, the quality equipment. Um, I interruption there to minister the electrical. No problem. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Other can be have a security bridge in the uh, company. Okay. Thank you, Danis. Yes. Uh, we talk about uh, number six uh, question. Oh, wait a second.
Okay, now we are only 15. Let's see who's present. Let's go and see who's present, who's absent, etc. And Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excellent. And Adelmi Carranza Guzman. Ipitoli Siguenza. So him around. Dani Sadalberto Flores. Present. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Ernesto Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present. Excellent, nice. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher, twice, please. Excellent. Yeah, Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Good. Present teacher, I am here. Karina Beatriz. Sound of you. No, no, listen my name. Who is speaking? Sorry. It's Jose hey, Norberto. It's after the Jose Ignacio. No. Oh, don't worry. You are present, my friend. But it's true. You are right. Jose Norbert. Sorry, Norbert. Thank you. Yes, you are present. Excellent. So Karina and the two Karinas are present. Carla Veorca Vázquez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Okay. Alexander Bonilla. Okay. Miriam Clarín Jacobo. Pedrina Ileana Gómez. Present teacher. Pam Beatriz Posada. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Terry, present. Okay. And Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. And Janira, well. And Rudy, Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Very good. Okay. Now, my friends. Let's continue. Okay. Let's see. We continue with assessing business risks. Teacher, I don't understand assessing business risks. Okay. Assessing business risks is means analyzing our situation and thinking, what areas are in danger? What areas can present, present potential risk? How can we solve them? Okay, what solution can we find for them? First, identify the risks, fire risks or fire hazards. Okay, maybe uh, let's say with tools, with the elements, uh, the premises have been built with, okay, maybe with the design the building presents, maybe very steep ladders, maybe uh, the design of the building, people can get lost, or the floors are slippery, maybe they can get, they can slip and break an arm or get hurt somehow, or maybe other risks like uh, toxics, Maybe the rooms are closed. They have not enough uh, ventilation. Probably uh, they can suffocate uh, because they are, there are toxic fumes because of the processing areas. So then these are risks that we must think about. Here are some areas that we need to discuss. For example, human factors. What can be some risks? Okay. If we talk about pe people, you can say, teacher, maybe untrained workers, maybe workers who don't have the capacity to handle the tools or to follow the process. 
Or me. Y también yo he visto, he visto camisas. Or, Ahí tengo una de las mismas. Or maybe other. Okay, so probably things like this. So this is what you have to discuss in this one. So I'm going to send you to the groups again, only that I'm going to create uh, different groups. So let me see. So okay. Let me see. Let's see who I have for the first one. Because I'm going to be assigning. Ta -da, ta -da. Okay. So, Okay, the groups are beginning. Anis, you may join group three. Per favor. Yes, maybe uh, the month is, is possible uh, a liti, liti, litigious, 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 litigious. Yes, it's possible to put in problem the operation litigation or example? lawsuit. Love suit, love suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if the companies don't have a safety measure, uh, they have uh, a problems with yeah. the, work, the work minister. Yeah. I think it's, it's too important to have a measure of safety. Yes, definitely. In your opinion, Lupita, Jose Norberto?
Uh, hi, excuse me. Your opinion in related to the answer for the first question? Uh, excuse me, one moment, please. Yes. Lupita? Alta. Alta. Okay. As a business, Greece. As a Okay. Evaluando. Okay. Okay. Hi, Rudy. Hi, Pedrina. I'm lonely in my group. And the other person that was supposed to be with you is not there. Who is, let me see who the other person is. Uh, teacher, I don't, don't have the screen. The, the, the topic. Yeah, you're presenting the screen. This is the one that you're discussing. Okay, uh, assessing business ri risks. What are the human factors that cause risks? What risks do you get from the premises, from the, the operation of tools, from the materials and from the activities, right? I'm going to send you Rene, maybe Rene works with you. Okay. Rudy is supposed to be working with you, but maybe he's busy right now. Okay. Uh, let me see. And uh, Danis, but no, Danis is not here. Let me see, I'm going to send you Rene. So, Okay, maybe Rene wants to work with you. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> Rene Osvaldo. Exactly. Hey, Rene. For me, let's continue. Okay. I got your idea too. Okay. Will the lack of um, safety measures put the operation of a business in danger? Uh, the lack well, of safety. The, yeah, the lack of... Um, um, what do you think? Mm, let me... I'm analyzing. Mm -hmm. I'm professional. <laughs> Answer. <Yeah. laughs> With the lack of safety, of safety measure, put the operation of a business. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Will the lack of safety measure put the operation of this business 
in danger. Yes, I think can be a uh put in a in a danger because we yeah, know that the safety safety measures are um priority in the yes in the in a business or oh, well in a factory maybe uh, mm -hmm. and this kind of uh, operations uh, if we don't have the uh, a good uh, a good decision a good uh, good way to operate uh, we know that in a, in a, in the future can be a um, a new and then maybe a, put in a the factory in a danger situation. Yes, of course. Uh, what do you think, Emma? Uh, well, um, number two, what could be okay. some could effects be some... of the lack the lack of security? Um, how many security is maybe is one of the one of the most important factors that we need to to assess in, in a business in a business risk because you know the reality from El Salvador. It depends the security from security security in the all the well, all the sense yeah. and the security as an employee as an employees. Yeah. Well, we know Inside that the office and outside. Yes, and we know that we don't, we have a lack of security, a security, maybe or employees or um or manual uh, manual factor, uh, can be yeah. um, not can be re re replaced. Yes. To prevent. Okay, okay. Uh, for who should be sure of implement them? Depend of the measure. Yeah. Depend of the measure. Um, maybe the measure related to the control for the entrance, uh, the security wards. Yeah, they are responsible to implement it. Let me sure. The In... porter? Port yeah. In... In... In general, the other measure is uh, the employees. We have the identification and we, uh, we must uh, how do you say? Show the, the identification uh, when we are in our clients. It's the other measure for security. Mm -hmm. uh, in the the stingers, stingers. How do you do? How do you say extinguidores, teacher? Sorry? Extinguishers. Okay. Again, please. The extinguishers. The extinguishers. The extinguishers. Um, they are very important to, to have a good condition because required to a frequent frequently the review that the condition of the extinguishers okay then in a premise is process of uh in let me see. Mm -hmm. 
proposition of the process of reacting that generate argument for that uh for mean, that a need a need the security team for example or security manual i don't know really <laughs> Um, the tools. You can ask okay. the questions. Only questions. Only questions, teacher. Next things are the questions. Ah, sorry. We are work about the the work. The okay. words in a page 14, no. It's okay, no problem, but the questions too. Ah, okay. Nobody's working in this group. Rudy, Jose Ignacio, Pedrina, you finished? I don't know everything about it because uh, we don't have the that kind of um, information that maybe human research can be informed at all person, all personal uh, employees, not only the the manager, the the person, the person that it can be in charge. Uh, also, maybe the person who can be uh occupation occupational uh occupational uh yeah. the person the person that it can uh, uh, occupational security yeah i know also i guess we can change the our culture our culture and yeah. and be more we need to to, to implement um, a, a new culture because so you tell so you told and in, in a company maybe they have all the measure but sometimes the employees are not ready for for implement them right le vale reata
Okay, my dear ones, let us continue. Let's continue. Uh, can you hear me? Or, or not? Hello. No. And now let's let's work on the dialogue. Okay, it seems that uh, team, uh, teams, uh, Zoom is having problems with, uh, with handling the tools because the microphone has been deactivated. It sounds very badly. I mean, really, really. So let me see. Okay, now can you hear me well? Yes. 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 Okay. Sure. Yes, it's because the microphone doesn't mark anything. Well, I hate when Zoom does this, but what can we do? Okay, let's see. Um, and Miguel have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure manual. Now, they are talking about a competitor at the eye of the storm. It means now they are talking about a competitor who is in trouble. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree with, I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of our of an employee died man, uh, manipulating heavy machinery. Okay, there is an extra of in the conversation has to be they were sued because an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. So let me see. I'm going to put a Annex here. Okay. Somebody said that traffic is really bad right now. Okay. Uh, they were sued because an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Here also, heavy, heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Never mind bad publicity. A chain of negative effects might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Yeah, that's true. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as soon as possible. Okay, assessment, assessment process, safety measures manual, okay, competitors manipulating heavy machinery, bad news, bad publicity, um, negative effects, loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Believed safety measures, implementation, reduce accidents. Okay, let's see. You need to practice this conversation and also discuss the questions, and then this, do this about the vocabulary. 
Okay. Later, the last one is this. Financial laws, laws. Okay, you have to put this in the order of priority that you consider you should have. Okay. Then my friends, let's see. Let's go to the groups. I'm going to close. Uh, I'm going to create new groups. And I'm going to create only three groups. Seems like not everybody is in and not everybody is participating. So Okay, the groups are opening and uh, there we go. and the eye of a restaurant. Well, um, I yeah. need to do a Gladys. Uh, maybe Jose Carlos can be Miguel. Okay, okay. I'm agree. Okay. okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an unemployed die when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Never mind bad publicity. A change of negative effects might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Yeah, that's true. I'm so really, really, really well, reliable. We're done with the safety. Oh, oh my, that's such so bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Never mind but publicity. A chain of negative effects may, may, may be on their way. Lots of customers, lots of truths in the organization and, and eventually financial loss. Yeah, that great I am so ready. Where don't we stay suffer? Me answer, no, we want to play. If implementation to reduce accident as soon as possible. Okay. We know Maria and, and Anna. Hi, Anna. Um, I am Gladys. Okay, Maria. Um, change. Is thank you, Miguel. Ana, al revés. Hello. Hola. The discussion, the following question. 
practice the change. Uh, okay, the questions. Uh, what what process, process after the finish? After the finish, the process of terminaron. Uh, the risk okay. assessment process and the safety measure manual. Mm, yeah. The safety measure manual. Okay. What happened to the competitors? Compet uh, they was an accident uh, when an employee died. Manipulating her machinery. Is how you machinery? What? It, uh, the number two is um, they were out because of, of the employee this when manipulation manipulating heavy material. Yes, die. She's. He was dying. It's he over. Died. It's over manipulating a heavy machine. Okay. Uh, uh, number three. What happens when you neglect security? Neglect security. The company is affected. Lose call of customers and. The police uh, win a bad publicity. Win a bad publicity and lose customers. Lose all. Yeah, thank you. I saw really your language. Thank you, Manuel. No, when was he then? His information to reduce accident as soon as possible. That's all. Okay. Okay, thank you. No. <laughs> Well, we're going to continue with the discuss of data, uh, discuss the following question. What process have they finished? What happened to the competitors? What happened when you read the neglect security? What security measures does your company implement? What process have, well, continue with the one, the first. What process have they finished? Uh, the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. And students from agriculture uh, have had an accident with a and and she passed away. When this year? Mm, 
last year. Really, Karinita? Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Dangerous. Yeah. What happened when you neglect security? Neglect. 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 Is the opposite the opposite? What happened when you neglect neglect security? Is opposite ah. the diligent. Ah, okay. opposite the diligent. Neglectful, yes, because neglect is verb. So neglect the, is verb. The opposite is pay attention. Pay attention. Ah, okay. It's like uh, ignore. Ignore. Like ignore. Okay, I'm going to give you an, an example. Imagine that you have a garden and you have a lot of beautiful flower plants there, but you neglect your garden. Means you never water it, you never uh, use fertilizer, you never trim the plants, you never do anything for the plants. Mm. So eventually yeah. we will go and destroy your garden. Why? Yes. You, neglected, you neglected your garden. You neglect. Okay. What happens when you neglect security? Mm. Is more probably the accident. 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 Yeah. It's, it's possible the accident final happened. accident. And um, possible. Uh, have an accident and 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 in free here. I don't know. And to don't don't follow the, the rules. Break the rules. Uh -huh. Break break the rules. Break the the, break. the rules. Break. Mm -hmm. And that uh, clear and uh, every action have a a reaction. A reaction. <laughs> Yeah. An equal reaction. Okay, or an equal. What security measure does your company implement? Well, uh, in my company, we have a um, monitor, monitor. We monitor. 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 Monitor, monitor security. Monitors. A monitor security. Uh -huh. And and we uh, for example, if you took the the bail, uh -huh, uh, um, a monitor uh, asked ask the your name. And you talk with them, and 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 he solve in his computer, and finally you uh, into to the office. Yeah, we have a lot of cameras. <laughs> Some are fictitious, but okay, but the ones that are working. Because some cameras are only for people to believe that they are being watched. They are called uh, dummy dummy cameras. They are okay. dummy cameras in areas that are not so important for mm -hmm. people to think that they are monitored. 
but uh, the real cameras are in important areas. And some people yeah. don't, don't place cameras everywhere because there isn't enough money. But to make yeah. people believe that they are being monitored, <laughs> dummy, mm. dummy cameras in areas yeah. that are not mm -hmm. so important, those are not real cameras, but the people believe that they are being monitored and they watch out, they watch mm -hmm. the steps, right? Yes. But in Excellent. general, teacher, that the effective in the implementation is in the, mon the good monitor, in good, um, how do you say, when the, the old people, we are responsible to the measures. Yes. Okay, the cameras have two purposes. Yes, one is to monitor, the, to, to monitor and to record what's going on, okay? So that if there are incidents, they can capture them in camera. Yeah. However, there is another function for cameras. There is, they have a psychological effect on people. <laughs> the psychological effect that they have on people is that People believe that they are being monitored when in reality they are not, okay? So they, they try to behave properly because of the cameras. However, nobody's behind the cameras. Nobody's watching them. But as the people yeah. do, they continue to behave well. <clears throat> this is the rule of the elephant. You remember that, well, maybe not, not remember, but you know, that is an elephant that they tie him when it's a baby, when it's a small elephant, they tie him. The elephant tries to get untied and tries and tries and gets tired and cannot. And then as the, the elephant is growing older, they only uh, pretend to tie it, but they don't really tie it. The tie is psychological. The elephant yeah. believes that it's tied when it's in reality it's not. But because when he was a baby and he couldn't untie itself, then he believes that continues to be a, with a difficult or an impossible tie to break, right? So that is the, that is the same psychological effect on people. The yeah. cameras, nobody is monitoring the cameras, but the people believe that someone is monitoring them and then they try to behave themselves. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> really. <laughs> yes. The effect ecology. In, in your company, Anna, what have uh, in, measure does your company implement? The main measures, the What, what the number one? It's the last, the last prices. Contamination is a what's the procedure? Oh, okay. Yes. Per hundred. Okay, 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 yes, uh, moment. It's okay, number one. Number two, casualties. Casualties. What, what the number two? I don't know. Number three. Okay. Properly damage can be much. No. No, because. I will say, uh, I will say number two. Yeah. Um, the company property damage can be a employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Mm. Could be.
maybe the last one. Property damage, waste, reuse that are handled impro improperly, scatters to other areas and cause, and cause the areas to be closed down. Maybe for me, that's number three. And number one was who okay, can could be. <laughs> but mm, 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 let me see again. But we are talking about damage to the private to the private property. That's my opinion. Uh. Or maybe yes, number one is with the last. Number one can be waste residues. Yes. Okay. Number well, three. maybe we continue with uh, number five. Maybe number three see. customers switch to oh. another provider or business. Sorry, I don't have well, you can continue. I... Okay, continue. No, I go to my loss of customer. Yes. The company lose money. No, no. Let me see. Loss of customer. Customer switch to another provider for number four. Cancel, maybe you say some, and then other page. Okay, let me see your page. What rank is risk from more serious one? Less. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it was a moment with a lot of stress in this moment. Yeah, yeah what yeah. happened with my computer? Yeah, yeah. virus, virus. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. The okay. Worst. The yeah. other. Yeah. Okay. Match the words and phrases that describe effect caused by hazards and risk to their definition. Contamination. Um, was the residuals that yeah. are yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. casualty um casualty in um, employee DS DS in accident casualties Cas I not in a machine. Casual Cas Casual Casualties. 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 I don't know what is special, <laughs> but I I discover word in the word are literally the word is bajas, means oh. bajas. It means when a person when oh. is fighting the enemy and he gets killed in the battlefield, 
that is a, a casualty, casualty of war. In this case, casualty in the company, a person operating the machines. It is possible the casualties when the employee left the job for the other job? No, no, no. No, that is no, all, only for accident, these casualties. It means patatuses. <laughs> right? Okay, I understood. <laughs> nice. And then, Thanks. maybe because he's operating a heavy machine that is that breaks down or because he ends under one of the car cargo machines or because he breathes toxic fumes and he gets intoxicated. I mean, for, for whatever reason, he dies. He falls into, a, uh, let's say, toxics, toxic substances and or he gets uh, enclosed in a room and breathe uh, toxic fumes, so he dies. Okay. Okay. In the other case, he's retired. Yeah, in the other case, is retired when you stop working, that you are old and you will get a pension, so you retire. And you're there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or the, uh, if it's you change company, you relocate. Relocate. Okay. Uh, you relocate. relocate. You go with another okay. company. Relocate. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Property damage. Um. Then you wanna put some. Okay. I think it's the company loans. No. The machine of. The machine. Yes. The machine of breakdown. The financial loss is the company lost money. Mm. Yes, number six and number four is no, number four is customer switch to another provide business. And number five, the company lost money. Mm -hmm. Yes, we completed. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> All right. okay. But the most serious is casualties, the most serious. The most, most, but top, the top, top of the top. The most serious, yeah. And the first no five or is number number no. the first most serious i think the number two loss of trust in the organization oh the number one financial loss please But the number one, finals, finals, financial loss. Number one, casualties. Casualties. Because people, human, human lives are lost. Oh. Okay, the number six is the most serious. Number six. No, sorry, the number one financial loss, what number is, sorry? 
he's a finance loss is the the company loss and money number five. In the other exercise. That one. Yes. Yeah, we need the number that's okay. yes. Only is the 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 ordinar ahí nada más. Eh, ¿Cuál sería financial loss? loss es más serio. Es, El problema más serio al menos serio. Ajá. The no most serio. Ajá. Podría ser casualities. Yes. Eh, como number, number one. Hello, Pam. Hello. You were left alone. Uh, oh, you finished already? Yes. Yes, okay. Excellent. Let's go to the main group. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Delmi Carranza Guzmán. Alberto Fuentes. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present. Okay. Nice. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Sure, I am here. Excuse me. Excellent. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher. I'm here. Excellent. Nina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Nice. Camina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Nice. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Miriam Clasher Picodo. Present teacher. Nice. Pamela Beatriz Posada. 
René Osvaldo Bonilla. René. Ricardo. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Josué Flores. Rudy Lester McLean. Ok. Bueno. Bueno. Eh, Thank you very much for attending tonight. Eh, Pedrino, Good night. Pedrino, with me tonight. Okay, so the other people, thank you for attending. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. God, God bless you. God bless you too, my friend. Good night. Take care. Sleep well. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. It seems like Pedrina left early. Mm. 